Ignition sequence starts. Oh, we have a lift off. That's the finish gun. Yes, baby. Yes. That's like a top water, four pounders, and a little farm pond. Does it get any better? I don't think so. Guys, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about this bad boy. This is the Revo Rocket, the new one. The old one was cool, but this one is so lightweight, so fast, and just absolutely the nicest candy apple red color I've ever seen. I mean, it's bright. I don't know if this video even does it justice. This thing is bright. All right, so I'm gonna pair this with probably a heavy action rod. Just because I like to, you know, fish a lot of top water and I like to fish it fast. And that's what I like is a heavy. Just to where, you know, if that bass hits that buzz bait when I'm pulling it over, you know, a little bit of structure, a little bit of weed, something like that, you know, I can winch I can get them out of there. I like a I like a heavier rod when it comes to top water. So this definitely has its special uses. You don't you're not really gonna want to throw this with something like a, a Texas rig. But I would love to throw this and I can't wait to get it on a rod and reel and throw it with something like a buzz bait or even, you know, chatter baits. So you can just, you know, cover a lot of water and you really don't have to work yourself to death to keep that bait, you know, in its optimal speed where it's kind of, you know, making the most vibrations. So, less work, more water. So I decided to make a cheesy analogy, but you know, you need different rod and reels, different gear ratios for different lures, just like you need different tires for you know your automobile, depending on whether it's winter season or it's summer, or you, you know, you're gonna do a lot at your deer camp, or you're you know, you're just mainly gonna be on the asphalt, you're gonna choose a tire accordingly. Well, with fishing reels, we have the same opportunity, I mean the same options when it comes to what we're gonna use in and what we want to do with it. So I got I got black smut all over my hands. So that was a cheesy analogy, but you get it. Here's my new tires, by the way. They're the exact same tires, just new. The other ones had about 60 or 70,000 miles on them, and it was time to get some more. Now we're out on the pond, and we're going to be testing the Revo Rocket. This is a field test, pond test, whatever you want to say. Field test is a word for like other things in the outdoor industry. This is a pond test on this reel right here. This little, can you see that? Cool. You hit it right down here on top. Right, go back in, see? I had to have a fast reel. I got to take in that slack real quick. I didn't hook him very good, he's still there. There he is, yes! Oh, I lost him right at the bank, guys. Oh, I love that. Oh, I can't believe I lost that fish. He wasn't too big, but absolutely smoked it. I hope he's too good for him to hit again. Maybe we got a little feeding frenzy going. Oh! No way! No way. That's awesome. That is freaking awesome. Fast reel. I got to, you know, reset. Pitch back in there really quick. I'm showing you this clip because this is a perfect example of where this reel can shine. I missed the fish on the first blow up. I've taken my slack faster than most reels can. And I pitch back in there as fast as I can and hook them the second time. Got him. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, that's a little chunky one. Woo! Got him. Oh! That's a good fish, guys. Yes, baby. Yes! That's like a four pounder. Oh, he ain't as good as I thought, but he's a good one. Oh, he's pretty good, guys. Yes. A 
Come here, baby. Yes! <laughs> Woo! On the rocket. What this reel is made for is exactly how I'm fishing it. Frogs, top water, moving fast baits, you know, resetting and casting back in there quick. If you use this reel effectively, it's gonna be a tool that you'll never wanna leave at home. For this review, I wanted to make sure and take this out on multiple days and fish it in multiple ways. So let's include some of that footage and then I'll give you my final thoughts on this reel. Seems like we need to be fishing the tunnel. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, look, freaking Alabama, boy. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice job, uh... You catch one? Ah, nah, you got excited. Yeah. Oh, he's going right there. If you don't fish this guy, I got fast. one, Bob. I got one. Good. Get it. Well, I'm trying to get it out of here. All right. It was rolling. Woo. Pretty good one. A lot of, he's got a lot of these two and two pounders in here. I love them. They're the perfect size. God, this thing's heavy. A rig launch. Cast him blind. I am removing. I need to just. Oh, I got hit. Fish. <laughs> That's a crappie. No, that's a little bass. Is that a crappie? Oh, He's a big one too. Yeet! A little A-rig pounder. See? You need this. We threw in there. Okay guys, so my final thoughts on the Abu Garcia Revo rocket. So after testing it for about a week now, fishing it, you know, four or five times, I, I don't have anything negative to say about it. I will tell you what it does well. So throwing big rigs like this, it makes life easy. If you've ever thrown an Alabama rig or a buzz bait, something of that nature, you know you have to work to you know, keep a buzz bait up. Or in this case, you don't wanna have to work because these things are heavy and they're, they're not fun to cast, they're not fun to reel in, they're heavy, they got a lot of drag in the water. You feel like you're reeling in a, you know, a wet sock or a plastic bag or something. So, this is nice because I don't have to make as many turns with my wrist and after you know multiple casts, hundreds of casts, it's nice to uh, not have to reel as much and, and you're still covering the same amount of water. So I, I absolutely am ecstatic to have this in my arsenal now. I would say I wouldn't go out and buy this as your first, your first reel because it's kind of a specialty item, but for what it does or what it's made for, it does really well. And I, I guess that's it. The only thing I have negative to say about the, the reel is that you see this red body. It's a slightly different color than this red cap and a different finish. This is like a chrome finish and this is a matte finish. And even my buddy Caleb mentioned this as well. It just looks kind of cheap. For as expensive this, as this is, they should have made the cap black or something. But if that's all I have to complain about, I mean, that's, that's nothing. So. Real quick, before we go, I wanna give you a little teaser into the next video. I've also, when I've been filming these videos, I've been filming with this rod and reel. And this is the Abu Garcia Z9. Man, this thing is like the Corvette of, of fishing. It is light, it is pretty fast in the gear ratio I have, and it's just slick. And uh, I caught my biggest bass of 2023 on this reel so far it's august but anyways this is a phenomenal reel as well y'all stay tuned for this video make sure and subscribe to the channel and like this video to where you'll get notified hit that notification bell as well if you want to make sure and see me catch a, a really nice bass uh, i'm gonna do a little teaser to that catch right here in the end of this video so that's what i'm gonna leave y'all with Make sure and subscribe, guys, and thanks for watching this video. See y'all in the next one. No. Oh, no, that is not one of those good four pounders that just pulls good, Justin. That is not one Camera's of those. rolling. We're live. Yes, baby. Yes, sir. Woo! What's that one about? <laughs>